Good morning! In case you were wondering what happened to Vlogtober Day 21, well, it's right there. So this is, um, YouTube has been having, I think, some rendering issues. Or the point where you upload videos and it's processing you know, before it's visible to viewers or for you to edit. So I edit directly in YouTube. What I do is I upload individual clips, link them together, add text uh, segments, photographs, whatever I want to do. And if anyone's interested in seeing how to do this, I can uh, certainly would be happy to show you uh, one of my processes. So I started downloading the video clips from yesterday at around 7.30 or so. I was just about done. I had a couple of more clips just to uh, kind of tie at, uh, tie up. But I think I had 11 or 12 clips that I wanted to link together. And they were taking a, a little longer to upload than when everything was finally uploaded. Uh, six of them were still in the processing mode, which, oh, it's kind of irritating. I'm not the only one who experienced this. This is widespread. So, and ironically, the one clip that would not uh, render, that would not uh, uh, complete its processing, and you cannot link uh, clips until they're completed processing, until it's live to view, or in, until it's viewable. You could set it to private, which is exactly what I do with the clips. Was the very first one, which explained and kind of set the, um, you know, set the mood for the rest of the clips and it didn't make sense for me to leave it out. As a matter of fact, it would have made no sense for me to leave it out. So right now I have all of the video clips all linked together, the title, a couple of things in between, and then the ending. It took me until this morning to have that one clip process and I had to reload it three separate times. And when you reload a clip, um, the system, you have to catch it before the system reads it as a duplicate, so you have to delete the previous attempts even though they're still not processed. So hopefully when I hit refresh right now, which I'm going to do right this second, you'll see there will be one more clip, this, uh, this one right here, the very first one. That has to be popped into the beginning because that was the very first one. So now I know that my entire video is 15 minutes and 12 seconds. This one is 7 minutes and 20 seconds. It explains all sorts of things that happen that were pending throughout the rest of the day, so I couldn't really leave it out. So now I'm going to um, run it through once, which is exactly what I do. I play through to make sure um, all the clips actually rendered completely. They're not black screens or there's no sound. And you can edit each clip. You can trim them down, cut them apart, you can embellish the sound. Sometimes when it's really, really quiet, I, I boost the sound on each of the clips. You can also uh, change the size of the um, text tiles, um, you know, the length of how long they appear. So if it's a really long one, uh, you can make it more than two seconds. If it's, you know, something you just want to pop up quickly, two seconds is plenty. So then once I click on publish, it's going to take time, probably half hour or so for it to complete. Once it's completed, it's still in private setting. Then I will be able to add the text information in the description, any links that I may have referred to, any links that I may have referred to throughout the video uh, segments, and then I can make it public so then you guys will see it. So there is the overall as to why uh, the last few vlogs have been really late, and this one is actually going to be posted today, so there'll be two today. So what's up on my to-do for today? Um, I'm going to uh, probably in about half hour or so, I'll bring you in the kitchen and I will prep the uh, stew that's going in the crock pot. Um, I have a meeting shortly, so I have to do that beforehand. Um, I have my coffee, and yes, I busted into that chocolate bar. I was getting very, very frustrated. I shouldn't rely on food to make me happy, but one piece of that really did kind of lift my spirits, plus it really helped that this last video clip rendered nicely. So then I have a whole slew of things that I need to do, which I will include a link 
to my blog post with today's to-do list, which I'm finding actually very helpful for me because it keeps me honest and uh, makes me want to accomplish more on my to-do list. So uh, one burn egg from the girls so far. Um, I did bring them out the leftovers from last night's dinner, which you haven't seen yet, but it's there. It's, it's right there. It was Meatless Monday. I made spaghetti squash with... Um, mushroom and ricotta tomato sauce, which was really, really tasty. Polly swallowed it down. I know it wasn't his favorite, but he did humor me and he ate it. I really enjoyed the flavors, but you'll see I make it in the, in today, in the 21st vlog. All right, so I'm going to run and uh, get a couple of things done before the, uh, before you see me next, but uh, hopefully next time you see me, I will be in the kitchen and will prep the stew um, which will just be a traditional kind of stew on, I think, six-hour setting, which will be just about the right timing for when Polly gets home from work. Uh, quick heads up, if anyone else is interested in the Keurig Coffee Maker 50% off coupon, I still have a whole bunch of them available, so just leave me a message or private message me, and I will send you a reply with your personal one-time use uh, coupon code. So that's one thing. Second, I wanted to share with you um, a couple of lenses I got for my camera. Oops. I just totally did that. Um, so I picked up a telephoto, which is really just two time, 2.2 times. And um, the thread is for the 52 millimeter lens, but the filter size is 62 so any of the filters that I have like my fabulous purple filter I won't be able to use with this however I'm working on something which hopefully I'll share soon and uh, it was a two pack this was also uh, and I also picked up a wide angle which is just 0.43 times so it's um, what it does is it stretches out it gives you a greater um, viability of the width of your image so after I play around, what I'll do is I'll post a I'll do a blog post because it's probably the easiest for photography. I'll show side by side photographs of the same image with each of the lenses and then without, so you can see the comparison. Um, I played around with it like literally for like three minutes, just putting each lens on, taking a picture, and then just taking a picture without any either of the lenses on. So I can uh, do a comparison, but I'll do something. Uh, I'll do that officially on something a little prettier than. I mean, I just literally aimed it at my desk. So, and these were these are not. I did not get a Nikon version. I just got this Vivitar, and I got these from Amazon. They were twenty nine dollars shipped, um, including a little tack cloth. Where is it? Right here. This fiber, magic fiber, which is great. Um, and for those who were asking, this is the camera that I have. I'm just... It's the um, Nikon D3200. And it's a standard lens. I was going to get another lens for it, but I decided to just play around with the telephoto and the wide angle for now. And that's a you know relatively low investment of just uh, $29. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram and Facebook, know that I um, enjoy taking photographs of food. So the telephoto will come in useful. See, that's the that's just one of the photos. Oh, you could see me. Oh, hello. Um, that is a photo that I took, not even with my good camera. This was with a quick, I think, point and shoot. The little um, I don't even have it near me. I have a drawer full of old cameras, but that's a five minute microwave um, chocolate cake with fresh strawberries and whipped cream. Yeah, I did make that, but no, that was a while ago, so let's see. So I'm gonna run out and take a look at the chickens. Um, I emailed all the codes uh, from those who have requested them. If you want, if you would like one, feel free. Next thing on my agenda is to do the uh, one step looper video, which I have to go grab my um, jewelry supplies from the other room because I don't have them right next to me. But in the meantime, I do have to go visit the girls to see if there's any more eggs and then bring them some treats. So I will bring you along.
All right, girls, I'm gonna go one egg. Gloomy, overcast, leaves almost down. Look at that. <laughs> Herbs are still doing pretty well. See that? Eggplant never really grew, but that's okay. So that's it. I mean, this thing still going gangbusters. Looks like it's gonna rain this afternoon. Hey, what are you guys doing? Come in, come on, come on. All right. Oh yeah, I gotta go put the yeah, put the egg in the fridge. Okay, girls, enjoy your yummies. I brought them a bunch of tomatoes, some apples. All right, so I have my pan ready. I've cut up the... Um, meat that I'm going to put in the crack pot. It's sitting right here, but first I want to sear it. And I'm just going to put in a single layer and then sear each side. So I'll probably have to do that in two batches. And then as I get it done, I'll put in the crack pot, then I'll add onions, carrots, a little bit of celery, whole car um, entire garlic cloves. And I have some homemade chicken stock in the fridge, which I'll strain out and use and let's see what else potatoes i'm gonna have to up it to four hours instead of the six that i was going to put it in because i got caught in a meeting so i'm gonna get this all done and i'll show you what it looks like in stages searing nicely these are almost done and i have one more batch i'll save the juices and i might saute the onions in there first before popping them in the uh, crock pot there's the meat you can see the steam rising and I have added the onions to the pan and I deglazed it with about a cup and a half of uh, Merlot in which it just so happens that's what I had left. Um, I made sure to stop short of any sediment that might have been at the bottom of the bottle. I also added five cloves of crushed, well, smashed garlic. It wasn't chopped up, it's gonna cook slowly. I'm going to add this all into the crock pot in a minute and then add some chicken stock and let it go for probably about half an hour and then I'll add the carrots, celery, potatoes because I have to run to a meeting. <laughs> you got to fit it in where you can. So I decided against using chicken stock instead. I have two and a half cups of hot water and I've dissolved two packets of this instant broth and seasoning. It just beef bouillon and it's low sodium only five milligrams per serving so that's pretty low and the reason I use hot water is because I don't want to bring up the temperature of the content of what's in there already so I'm gonna add that and then in about 20 minutes or a half hour I will add the carrots potatoes and celery I'll leave the mushrooms probably another hour or so in because I want to, um, although I seared the meat, I didn't cook it all the way through, so the less stuff that's in with the liquid, um, the meat will cook nicer. So I'm just going to leave it on high, so I have it set for four hours right there. Let's see. I'll just add the liquid. So there you go. So I will check in on this in about half an hour. Well, 15 minutes, because 15, 20 minutes, because I have to peel the carrots, potatoes, and all that stuff. In the meantime, I'm going to make myself a seltzer. I'm parched. So let's see what this looks like now. 
So I have carrots, mushrooms, Yukon gold potatoes. They were the baby ones, so I just cut them in quarters, left the skins on. Onions, and I'm going to go get some parsley after dropping off the treats for the chickens. Boy, you guys are spoiled. So I just gave him a bunch of veggies from the... <laughs> from the stew. I think I'm going to close them up, actually. Because it rained, and... Oh, it is pretty now. The rain clouds have passed. Yeah, I think I want to close them up. I don't think there's going to be any more eggs. It's after three. It's actually almost six. 5.39. So, I'll close them up and then grab, grab some parsley. Oh, well, maybe thyme too. Parsley and thyme from the garden. Oh my gosh, there's a eggplant flower. So slow. <laughs> I don't think they'll ever develop into a full plant, but we'll see. I hear a woodpecker up there somewhere. I think it's the same one that wakes me up on weekends. About a quarter cup of chopped parsley, um, thyme leaves, and two bay leaves. Bay leaves I will fish out once this is ready. And I think in about an hour, I'll add a tablespoon of garlic chili sauce, only because we like it spicy. So that's it, that's all there is for me to do for now. And I'll check back when I go to add the garlic chili uh, sauce to see how the potatoes are doing. Want to see how scary this looked a few minutes ago? Take a peek. It's all done. Cleaned up. I think it's done, but um, I have dishes to do now. <laughs> so I'm going to clean up and I'm going to call it a night. So I can upload the vlog earlier tonight than yesterday or this morning. So don't forget to thumbs up. Oh, need to take that polish off. And thank you for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow.